Hello, this is Adnan Goji here, coming at you with another video. Yes, I know, it's been like, f what, five months? Five to six months, I haven't posted a video since, like, what? Uh, November, just coming at you with a little update. If you check my Twitter at, 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 at Nogoji, I recently put a poll up saying what I should do because of the content that I made a while back ago. Oh, can't remember when. So here's what I'm going to do. Starting Saturday, every Saturday, or whatever day I got off, starting Saturday, starting this Saturday, do Monday, I'll be making videos, non-stop. Every day I got off, I'll keep on making videos. So, we're going to start it today. So this first video we're going to make is called Godzilla Countdown Ultimate Countdown Thingy. Or whatever. Now let me get out my phone because I don't remember this. Either. I don't remember this. My cheat sheet. Mm. Give me a sec. Commercial break, commercial break, do 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 do. Commercial break, commercial break, do 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 do. Commercial break, commercial break, do 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 do. Okay, got it. Up. Starting with the voice of the bunch. Cause this is man. Okay, this movie. This really sucks, oh my god. This fucking movie has all voice characters, especially Ichiro. I'm just gonna call him. Uh, I forgot what it is. I'm just gonna call him Kenny, like, <laughs> cause the annoying kids. Oh my god, this fucking kid's annoying. I just want him to die and be choked in hell. <clears throat> anyway. It falls so way between the kid getting bullied and stuff, and yeah, for Godzilla plot or story, it's uh, not that good. And this kid goes into imagination of a five-year-old, of a child, of his imagination, he goes to a fictional monster island or flight that goes to monster island how is that working <laughs> anyway we go to monster island and basically it's the clip show of the week yeah it's basically a clip show movie remember those clip show ep those clip show episodes you see in anime and cartoons and shells and stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically this movie. You're not missing anything. If you watch this movie, you got scenes from Son of Godzilla, with Godzilla fighting Kamakuras. You got scenes of, scenes of Godzilla fighting the giant Congo from Ebba Horde Thief. You got scenes of King Kong escapes, destroy all monsters, and etc. The only two new scenes are basically one redone of Godzilla teaching his son how to breathe fire and the worst fights in movie history. Gabba yeah, fighting Minota, one and two. And Godzilla doesn't even fight Gabba, not until the very end. Until like, what, 50 minutes in the movie? Yeah, this movie is such a disappointment. The guys of the franchise, he shouldn't even exist. But if I had to give it a rating, 
Zeal Swords. This movie is so bad. I wouldn't want to watch this movie no matter what. You can... I would have died before watching this movie, to be honest. This movie... And I know people say, oh, it's a masterpiece. It was... Mwah. But... Eh, no. I'm sorry. No. No, 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 no. No. Moving on. Okay, this one is basically a new one that I've recently watch. Well, not a new one. I mean, it was made back, what, in the 70s, early 70s, 1971. This movie is Godzilla vs. Sidor. Yes, I know. Some people do like this movie. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate on it. But, it's... Mm, it's not the from the current of the Godzilla franchise. And I know Yashimano Bono died recently, back in 2017. Or 2016, I forgot when. So I'm not going to hate on this movie too hard. But I'm also not going to like it. <laughs> I know Yashimura Banu wanted to make a Godzilla vs. Hedera 2 or Godzilla vs. Death Club. Which was basically going to be a sequel to Godzilla vs. Hedera. And how was that going to turn out? Imagine how weird that movie would be. Anyway. It's basically just an environmental message. That's basically it. That's all it is. Just an environmental message. Not much... Not... It is the first environmental message in the Godzilla franchise. And I... Yeah, the very first environmental message. I think this is what started the environmental messages in kaiju movies. Or was it Gamma vs. Zigo? I can't remember which one came out first, but... If I had to say, Godzilla vs. Zidor started the environmental messages, and it ugh, did not go well. Yeah, this movie kind of blows. It is one of the worst movies to ever come out. I wouldn't say it's like the top 50 worst movies of all time, like in that book they made. But it's not a good movie. It's probably the weirdest Gaza movie I have ever seen. So fucking weird. But mm, who cares? This movie is a big drag. Half a half a sock. So I'm not even talking about the story. Oh my god. Gido is the baby. Between it's split between the fan base. There's some people who like Hidora, and there's some people who hate him. Me, I'm kind of in the middle. Part of me says he's a cool monster and cool concept. The other part of me says he's not one of the strongest foes in the Godzilla franchise. Yes, he did turn his hand into a skeleton and. Uh, Turned his eye, gave Godzilla a black eye or something. I don't know. And yes, this movie is pretty much boring and typical Godzilla movie. But this movie is not that interesting, not that good. Even though a lot of people do like it in recent years. Yeah, at the recent viewing of this movie, um, I'm not one of those people. This movie is so bad, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Unless you want to watch all the Godzilla movies, then you can watch it. But if, you, but if you're looking for some entertainment, this movie's not for you. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, let's let's get into someone else's least favorite cards in a movie. Ebba Hold the Yes. My mind changes on these Godzilla movies sometimes, so this one might change in recent, in more viewings of this movie, but a bit of the deep is that, it's just, it's not really, it is not, ugh, a bit of the deep. Movie begin. Well, maybe it can begin with trivia. This movie was originally supposed to be a Kong film. But at the last second, Toho changed their mind and made a Godzilla movie, just replacing all the scenes of Kong in it with Godzilla. You can tell because we're that scene in the movie where Godzilla has an attraction to a female woman. It's a weird that scene and it make, completely makes no sense. No sense at all. Godzilla barely uses his time, but I think he only uses like, what, four times in the entire movie? Maybe five? He doesn't use his time for film. I'm supposing what Kong was supposed to do there was like throw a rock at Ebba, throw a rock at the Condor or something. There was a big rock. This movie's not that interesting. It's really pretty bland. It's nice that they created Mafia, and even if it was just a cameo. Besides, he's just like a scene throughout the whole movie. So is Godzilla. He's sweet throughout the whole movie. He doesn't show up until like, what, 50, 53 minutes in? And this movie is a big bore. And the dub bad thing, ugh, not that good. Ish. I can't say much for the Japanese stuff. The Japanese sub, because... Not Japanese sub, the English sub, because one, I only watch dub. Two, well, it's not the fact that I only watch dub, it's the fact that my eyes, I can't read well, so dub is easier for me because I can hear. So, sub, I don't mind sub, it's just the fact that my eyes, I don't got like 20 20 vision, so. It's hard for me to read. So anyway. This movie is not a good movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just... It's meh. I'll give it one star. One star. Now let's move on to the next one. Before I kill myself by talking to these bad movies. I should have not said that. I should be quiet for now on. <laughs> Hope you two really see that. And take down another one of my videos. Yeah, I don't think I forgot about that YouTube. Anyway, that's one. Godzilla 1998. Oh boy, where do we get with this movie? This movie was the first attempt at bringing Godzilla to American audience. Well, kind of. They did that back in the 60s and 70s. The 50s to the 80s. It did not work. Back then, it worked well because because it was as prime. It was many people saw these movies. They would literally go to the movie theaters for these. But nineteen ninety eight. Well, I wasn't around nineteen ninety eight, so I don't know anything about the movie theater experience. So if you want to go check somebody out about that, go to Monster and Buddies. He'll give you a good description. Oh, my experience. Yeah, but anyway, or the 
hype between Godzilla 1998. But this movie is a big blowout. It's a big mistake for America. <laughs> Trace of Pictures did not do well with this movie. And for some reason, I have no freaking clue how this movie succeeded at the box office. How did this movie succeed at the box office? How? How in what world would this movie succeed at the box office? Oh my god. The movie basically... It's just a plan. This movie has the worst human characters ever. Now, I will admit, it does have good casting in it. The cast is pretty decent. They did cast it well. It's just... Well, the setup to the monster is pretty good. It's a pretty good setup. But when they show the monster, that's when it goes downhill. The movie just comes to a complete halt. The whole movie is basically like this. Of them trying to fight the monster. Monster attacks. Well, them trying to discover the monster. Monster attacks. They discover the monster. Monster attacks. The army tries to come in. Monster attacks. Not really. He just runs away from the military, which is not what Godzilla does. He fights the military. Not run away. He attacks the military. He destroys the fucking military. He destroys the military in every movie that he is in. Well, almost every movie, but... Every movie. What part did America not understand of that? Well, I'm not gonna go too far because... Nah. Because... You, America. America. Fucking... Don't want to say the mother effing day, yeah. Anyway. This movie... Is something alright, but I wouldn't watch it anyway. I give this movie one star because I freaking hate this movie. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the last subject of the day. Son of Godzilla. This is the big turning point in the Godzilla franchise where Godzilla is no longer seen as the destroyer of Japan. He is now a very, 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 very proud father. Yeah. This is where this movie's gone to. Manila is basically a love him or hate him character. Godzilla looks terrible in this movie. It's probably his worst suit design ever. He, he does get some ass though in this movie, which is always fun to see. But these monsters are pretty weak, to be honest. Kamakiris and Kimonga don't really put up much of a fight. Cam Godzilla, I just said Kamakiris, didn't I? Godzilla put up, just beat these three Kamakirises, Kamakirai, Yakurises, Jamantai, Jamantises, however you want to pronounce it. And beat the fucking asses. I just saw he stop cursing. But he beat him. Anyway. That's basically it. There's a fight. Then we get some human character. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, basically typical Godzilla movie. Son of Godzilla is basically... Well... Just a big turning point in the franchise. It's really nothing interesting. Unlike like later short films and early short films, it's really nothing groundbreaking. It's not interesting. And now I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it. I know. Let me explain. Avoid. Okay, this movie 
I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's pretty bad. Don't watch this movie. Don't ever watch this movie. This movie's bad. One star. But let me get into stuff being got in debate about. On Twitter. I literally said, I added some people on Twitter. I'm not going to say their names here because. I added, and I said, show error is probably the weakest error in the Godzilla franchise. But let me explain. I don't mean all the movies are bad. I just mean some. I watched these movies as a kid. These movies, well, as a kid and growing up. These movies are fine. The first Godzilla movie is Masterpiece. Godzilla Reigns Again is... Well, I'll get to it. I'll get to these movies when I get to it. But the first Godzilla movie was a masterpiece. It's a must-watch movie. But the way the short films... Show it was not... Well, there are some good show films... Most of them aren't really that good. I can only think of two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically, seven, uh, seven or eight. Let's say. Good films. The rest film um, maybe that good. So that's basically like what half the show. Era. I'm not saying it's all bad. I'm not saying the characters in the movies or the ideas that go behind the movies are bad. I'm just saying show is not exactly my era. It depends. The thing with the Godzilla franchise is it depends on whichever you're born in. If you're born, like, say, the 60s, the 50s, or the 70s, you're gonna like, particularly like the show. If you're born in the Heisei era, you might like the Heisei era. Same thing with Lamb, Mayra, and Once of Us. And we don't even speak about Troy Saga. Fuck that era. Except for Gaza and the anime series. That was a good era. That was a good show. I liked it. But anyway, I think this is going to end the video here before I keep on babbling on. Anyway, I'll see you next time for. I'll see you next time for the Man to Bad films of the Godzilla franchise. See you then. You should be watching. Did you get the reference? You should be watching. Yeah.